Welcome to the second side of your studio touch. There's going to be a lot of interesting topics that we're going to cover on this side. I've kind of developed a new system for the circuit because there's already a lot of stuff that you've learned from the first side and that is in purple or maroon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the stuff that we haven't seen yet is in black, kind of like an unlocked character in a video game. So this first panel is uh, introducing us the first time to microcontrollers. They're a very powerful tool that allow you to do a lot of intricate stuff when you're designing whatever you want. They're uh, separately powered, so rather than having a battery, we have a power source going directly to this. That's where the power is coming from. You have a bend sensor or a pressure sensor. Uh, it's up to you, uh, it's your choice, to complete the circuit. Then we have our microcontroller. What happens is that it gets an input from our circuit from over here, what you're doing, uh, interacting with your sensor. The input goes through this. It is uh, programmed. We wrote up a program on our laptop and uploaded it to uh, the microcontroller, and then it would give us some kind of output. That would be a result in the NeoPixel. You can see the program's result um, on this NeoPixel ring. What this is, is a bunch of LEDs. It's no more complex than the other side, except that there are now 24 of them rather than one. The manifestation that we have like some kind of program running here is what's going on with this. So say that you're uh, putting a lot of pressure on this and there's not much current going through your input. Well, the output is telling this NeoPixel ring to go around really slow. So you have like colors like rotating around this and it's going really slow because it's not receiving a lot of current. Uh, say however that it is receiving a lot of current. It's going around really fast. Your blues and greens and reds and purples are going around really fast in your NeoPixel ring. Um, but that's not the only example of a function. Um, we could also have said that maybe only a certain number of LED lights uh, light up with conjunction to how much current we're receiving. So there's a low current going through and maybe only like one or two of these are lighting up. Then say we release the pressure sensor and this is just going crazy. All of these are lighting up around here because it's receiving a high current. So this microcontroller takes an input, reads a voltage, or a change in voltage, and it gives us an output that we preset based off of that voltage. It's kind of like a function. You put in your x and you get out your y. So y equals x squared, you put in 1, you get out 1. You put in 2, you get out 4. It's the same way you put in your current and you get out a signal that is sending to your output. 